thing like Tesla. Geek Thoughts Micah here. This is Think Like Tesla, where we explain technology clearly. We get into the weeds. All right, what we have here is an arc lighter. It's sold under various names. You can find it listed as a Tesla lighter in some cases, or a plasma lighter. What it does is a regular lighter has liquid fuel in it, so you have to carry an explosive patch of butane around in your pocket. An arc lighter improves on this by letting you carry around an explosive lithium battery in your pocket instead. So, big improvement. So it's got a little battery here, it's got a USB port to charge it, a teeny cute little adorable charging board here. All the high voltage goodness happens in the sealed box here, and it's got two switches. One was on the front panel, and one is an interlock, as only is enabled when this is open. And the wires go up here to this electro, these two electrodes. Now you notice something different about this one. I've replaced this front panel switch with a magnetic reed switch. So basically this is a magnetically activated arc lighter. There it goes. Hard to see that on the camera, I guess. Get up here nice and close. Now I wonder if that's AC or DC coming out of this mysterious box here. Well, there's I think there's one way to find out. Let's put this in a vacuum chamber and see what happens. Okay, I've turned off the overhead lights for this to make it easier to see. Here's the lighter. Got some museum tack on the bottom and some cups in back there to keep keep it steady and hold it in place. If I move the magnet nearby, you can see a nice little arc. All right. So you may have been wondering about this motor, which you've seen on the sidelines. This is a small little air pump that I got from SparkFun. And I'm going to use this instead of the manual pump that came with the Action Lab vacuum pump that you see in place here. And I'm going to use this little electronic pump. Okay, so that, that motor's only be able to get down to about 75% vacuum. But that'll be enough for our purposes. All right, so let's see what happens here when we activate. Now look at that. It still makes a spark. Seems a little bit more glowy, more uh, corona. Now if you look really carefully can see there one electrode seems to light up more than the other. There's like a little blue dot on the right hand electrode. Now that may be for the same reason that a neon bulb lights up. In It has two terminals inside the neon. In AC they'll both light up. Actually they'll each light up back and forth really quickly. But under DC only one of the nodes will light up. So I seems likely that there is a DC voltage coming out of this black box. Which would make sense because one of the common circuits to produce high voltage DC is called a voltage multiplier based on diodes. So a side effect of that is rectifying it. So what other experiments can we try with arcs in a partial vacuum? Let me know. Uh, comment below. <laughs>